Hey guys, Rebel Engine 95, recording live from your local county prison cell. Uh, real quick, okay, so, you guys have no way of knowing this, but this was that, this, this fight was actually like, I just thought to do this a few days ago, and it's not that I want to do it so badly or anything, but there's just a lot of circumstances that led me to push this fight to the forefront. It's, um, well, very recently, uh, my phone just kind of, you know, ate shit and died, so I had to get a new phone, and as it turns out, the photo editor app that I was using to, like, make my thumbnails for the videos, uh, doesn't exist anymore. It's... It's not on Google Play, it's, it does, like, there's, it doesn't, you know, I looked, you know, I tried looking up app info, I tried looking for it by, I mean, it was just called photo editor, so it's not, you know, like, it's not like there's not a million of them, but, you know, uh, so it was really hard to, like, you know, so I'm sitting here, so I had to, like, dig around for what are, like, you know, what are, uh, what are good alternatives, what are good apps that I can use to make these thumbnails. Um, because it was so easy to do it on the last one, and now I have to use, like, two different apps just to get, like, the same result. And even then, I, I don't have the same number of options to do it. So thumbnails are going to be a lot harder to make, so if you see a lot of suboptimal thumbnails, uh, you're probably the one guy who saw, who noticed, <laughs> to be honest. But, um, yeah, so basically I'm doing this fight not, um because I super, super wanted to do it, like, right away, but because I just made the thumbnail for it today, and I just want to test to see if it'll actually take to YouTube. If not, you'll probably see this episode, like, you know, uh, way later. Um, but anyway, this fight's gonna be, uh, Iggy from JoJo's Bizarre Adventures, Part 3 Stardust Crusaders, specifically, and, uh, uh, Koromaru uh, from Persona 3. Take this hood off, actually. Um, so, I had some grievances about doing this fight at first, because I, I thought about it like, wait a minute, both of these have a dog in them, and then I'm like, but it's a Persona versus JoJo's fight, and, you know, it, it they're both from the par their third part and everything, and then I kind of realized, like, these are all reasons to do this. Like, First of all, I haven't done so many JoJo's Persona. I think I've only done the one, right? I've only done Joker versus Giorno. So, I don't feel like I'm constantly doing, like, Persona versus JoJo's fights. Um, secondly, you know, it only really becomes a problem when the fight itself is suboptimal because of it, right? So if I did, like, Okiyasu versus Kanji, I would consider that, like, doing the fight for the sake of having a JoJo's character versus a Persona character, rather than doing it because, like, oh, this fight, this is the fight that should happen between for these two characters. You know, these two should face each other because one's from JoJo's and one's is from Persona, right? It's when you start doing that that I feel like the work starts to suffer, right? In this case, yeah, they both are from, one's from Persona, one's from JoJo's, and they're both from the third installation, and they're both dogs, and, but that doesn't, like, I can't, I can't accurately say one's a ripoff of the other. Well, I mean, first of all, it would, it would have to be that Persona's based off JoJo, but that's not the point. Like, I can't say that, like, Konamaru is a ripoff of Iggy. You know, they, there's so much separation between them that I can't honestly say that. Um, but also, it's just like, you know, this is a genuinely good fight, and I'd rather, I'd rather have these two fight each other thinking that they're better opponents than to put Iggy against some other character, like some other dog character that he doesn't really have a lot in common with just for the sake of not doing a Persona versus JoJo's fight, right? So it's kind of like the Marvel-DC argument. Do I like seeing Marvel or DC characters against not Mar other Marvel or DC characters? Yes, but like, if, but don't go, don't, 
not do a fight that's good for the sake of not having another Marvel DC fight, right? Um, anyway, I've, this has gone on way too long. So, Iggy, uh, let's start with Iggy. He is, I forget what breed of dog he is, but he's a, he's a dog. They're both dogs, by the way. If, if you didn't, um, catch on, they're both dogs. And, uh, he's actually a stand user. Uh, his stand in particular is actually, uh, the Fool, named after the Fool Arcana. Um... And its ability is to have, it, it has a body made of sand. It can, it takes the form of a bestial, like, half beast, half vehicle kind of form. Um, and it does utilize, you know, and it utilizes its body being made of sand to its advantage. Uh, it doesn't, like, throw sand or, you know, create sandstorms or anything. It's just that it is literally, a set, like, it is pretty much impervious to any damage. It's impervious to pretty much, you know, all physical, whatever damage. It's been hit by water. It's been hit by, it hasn't been hit by fire, but it's been hit by multiple different things. Um, and not only does it not take damage, but a big distinction is that Iggy himself does not take damage uh, from any attacks on the stand, on the, on the fool. Because... And that's important because generally in JoJo's, whenever the stand suffers damage, the, you know, user suffers an equivalent injury. But because the stand isn't actually being damaged, it's not being affected by the hit, right? It doesn't, you know, matter. But yeah, it's been hit by ice, it's been hit by uh, water, it's been hit by multiple different elements, and it's just remained just pretty much about as unaffected as anything else. Um... It's been shown to be strong. He can kind of summon it just from the ground itself. Um, he can make it disappear, uh, you know, into sand, so it can kind of just and reappear. He can make it shape shift uh, to take the form of other other beings. Um, he can make it. Uh, it's incredibly strong. It was able to crush uh, Vanilla Ice's hand, which. You know, Vanilla Ice is a vampire, so he's able to, you know, he's, he's got superhuman strength, so being able to, you know, crush his hand would be, you know, would mean that it's, you know, probably about e equally as strong as, like, Vanilla Ice, I would wager, is stronger than a ghoul, but assuming he's not that strong, assu assuming he's, equ uh, he's equal strength to a ghoul, we've seen ghouls, like, you know, stop pistons and ships from working, just with pure strength, so, like, you know, that the force of that would be, like, pretty significant. And also, the other advantage is that he's, um, is that, you know, he, he is relatively fast for most stands. He's, you know, so just with all of those advantages and Iggy, you know, there are some advantages to Iggy being a dog. He has a, you know, cute sense of smell and all those things, but he's going up against a dog, so that advantage doesn't really matter that much. Um, so yeah, that pretty much does it for the, for the Fool and Iggy. Um, Konamaru, uh, or sorry, Koromaru, my bad. Konamaru, uh, I'm thinking of the niche. Koromaru is, uh, is also a, a dog, and he, um, he is capable of summoning a persona. Uh, his persona is, uh, Cerberus, which goes through multiple different incarnations throughout the games, but the one he uses is a fire and darkness type persona. Um, I forget what some of its actual attacks are. I know it's capable of using, like, soul, or soul drain. It's capable of... Um, it, it has some other significant abilities. I forget what they actually are. But, yeah, fire and darkness based. Um, shit, I wish, uh, oh, yeah, and the other advantage that Koromaru has, I mean, this is pretty much all I have to say, because, you know, personas and stands are pretty similar. That's why I'm trying to avoid a lot doing more Persona JoJo's fights than I have to. Um, yeah, it doesn't have any, like, super specific abilities with those elements. Like, it doesn't, like, transform itself into fire or anything. It just kind of breathes fire and generates dark, dark abilities. Um... Which I believe are pretty much the same throughout all other darkness-type personas, but whatever. Um, 
Yeah, but the thing that makes Koromaru different is that he actually does wear armor, and he does hold a knife. So, uh, now, that won't, again, that will not affect the fool, but, like, Iggy died because Iggy himself was killed. Right? Like, so, the stand user is still vulnerable, the stand is not. Um, but anyway, who do I think would win in this fight? I know it sounds like I kind of downplayed Koromaru, but A, I'm trying to save some time, and B, uh, there's, you know, a lot of the, a lot of personas are just kind of basic. Um, so... Koromaru almost always is fighting with a team, but even with that said, I would argue that to any of Cerberus's attacks, and 